Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the marriage of Austin and Angela. Would you please rise in honor the bride? Austin, our big day is finally here. I'm excited and nervous. But I find peace in knowing at the end, it's just you and me starting the rest of our lives together. And that makes me more excited than nervous. I can't wait to see you at the end of the aisle. I love you so much. Love, Angela Chandler. day is here, an event uh, that was a year and two thirds in the making. Finally, today, I can call you my wife. I waited until the day to write this note so I could capture what I felt, and to be honest, it's been a wave of emotions. When I wrote down my vows this morning, I broke into tears. It was something about putting those words down on paper, and it was something permanent. Those words hold so much power as a testament now and to the future. I love you so much. Today marks our journey in four, three, two, one. of a husband and wife it's most sacred when it's two souls with a single thought and two hearts that beat as one it's the blending of two lives and union of two natures Austin and Angela you're about to take upon yourself solemn vows are going to have lasting responsibilities and know the way could you so manifest your love for one another you will not only bind together but hopefully learn to live for one another now love's what's brought you here today let's talk about it for a second it's life's highest emotion it makes us less selfish it makes us grow Love makes life more meaningful because you care about your partner as well as your own. You see, love makes burdens lighter because you divide them. Enjoy more intense because you share them. And it'll make you stronger. You'll try things in life that you would never attempt to do alone, but I'm sure you figured this out by now. You need more than just love and a good relationship. You need things like trust. You know, in your hearts, you want only the best for each other. And it takes faith. COVID-19 shown us that who knows what tomorrow's gonna bring. I know I speak on behalf of your family and friends that are here today in wishing you both many, many happy years of marriage together. Austin, if you'll take Angela's ring and place on her left ring finger, please. All right, and now Angela, if you do the same place on Austin's left ring finger, please. Would you please repeat after me? With this ring. With this ring. I do wed. I do wed. All my worldly goods. All my worldly goods. All that I am. All that I am. All that I ever shall be. All that I ever shall be. And all that is a part of me. And all that is a part of me. I give to you. I give to you. Before God. Before God. And man. And man. Amen. 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 <laughs> well, you two, in about 90 seconds, life's never going to be the same. <laughs> There are no ties in this earth that are sweet and tender as the ties that you've made to one another. And no institution is glorious as the home that you're creating. And so, with this union of hearts and hands, and by the authority vested in me by the state of Nevada, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Austin, there's a little tradition called kissing the bride. Would you like to kiss your wife? I would. Okay. It is my great honor to introduce you for the very first time Mr. and Mrs. Chandler, give them a hand, please. So I met Austin in 2015 at work. He actually shared an office with my girlfriend, now wife, Victoria. 
Victoria wanted to go to New York to celebrate her birthday and she wanted to get a bunch of people to go and something must have been going on that weekend because no one was able to go. So I had been just starting dating her so I was kind of excited, a little selfish part of me was excited because you know I just started dating her, we have been going out for a few months, we were going to get to go to New York, it was going to be all romantic and she added one caveat, she said well I haven't heard from Austin. I said that kid you share an office with? Who, what kind of weirdo would go to, to New York with two people he doesn't even know? Austin's that weirdo. Angela has always been such a great role model. I've seen everything fall into place perfectly from graduating at the Big Orange to experiencing different cultures around the world. As a child, I've heard her sing the famous Aladdin song, A Whole New World, <laughs> so many times on repeat. Little did I know Angela would find her Aladdin to show her all around the world, a whole new world, I'm sorry. I love watching you trust God and going with his plans and not, not losing the path that he put you on. Ooh. All right, thank you so much, everyone. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Welcome to our city, welcome to Las Vegas. <laughs> so have fun, enjoy. Again, thank you um, for everything it means. It means the world. <laughs>